This morning's Coffee With is with the Davis Guggenheim. And the satellite interview is furnished by Fox Searchlight. Davis, welcome to WJZ. I've always wanted to do an interview with you. I admire your work. How's it going, man? Oh, it's very nice. You know, I, I'm a big fan of Baltimore. Grew up in Washington, D.C. We'd spend some, some fun times up there in Baltimore. What years would that have been, please? I grew up, um, let's see, I moved there in 1968 and went to high school, left D.C. in 82. But uh, I used to love to go up to Baltimore. Kind of a fun city. So you would have been, you would have been around as Harbor Place opened and it was in its first couple of years. Oh, it was a big deal. That's a be beautiful place. Still yeah. a big deal. Maybe you have, honestly, when was the last time you were back? Well, I have these friends there, uh, Doug and Aaron Becker. They're just uh, really cool people, and, and they've had some great screenings for movies I've made. So it's, it's, it's you know, it's, it, it's, a, great, it's a great city because people come together, and they, uh, and uh, it's sort of, there's a, there's a proud sense of, of their city. I want to jump into, into, into the documentary. We could have some fun talking Baltimore and, and Ravens and whatnot, but this is a, a really important piece of work. I made this movie uh, called He Named Me Malala about this Pakistani girl on the other side of the world, but um, she spoke out for what she believed. I have, you know, two daughters that I want to raise to feel like they can speak out, and it kind of was a fun movie to make. It inspired me to make this movie. You know, it's interesting. It's a, it's, a, it's a very deep and intense story that I think we're all familiar with, and to hear you say, yeah, it was a fun concept. Tell me the fun about it and about her. Show me another side. I think the challenge with documentaries, frankly, is to make them enjoyable and to make them inspiring and to make them something that everyone wants to go see. And certainly that was the case with this movie. I met this beautiful family. You know, I'm not, I'm not Muslim. I, I live in Los Angeles. And I thought, well, you know, what is this family going to be like? And what I found is a very fun, loving family. She, Malala wrestles with her brothers. They tease each other. They're very funny. Um, and the movie kind of asks the question, what does it take to make a girl feel courageous enough to speak out for what she believes? And sort of that's sort of the, the core message of the movie and the movie that I would sort of bring home to my family and show my daughters that when they, when they see her story, they feel like they can, they can speak out too. But you know what? It's not, and I, I have a daughter, but I also have a son. And I think he could look at her story and see your work and think, you know, I can stand up for myself too. It's, uh, it, it's a, it's yeah, a story about the human race, not, not a gender. That, that's that, that's exactly right, and uh, you know, at, at the core of it, this is about a father who believes in his daughter, and a daughter who feels courageous enough to risk her life to speak out for something that's very precious to her, her school. And so, there's a message out there for girls and for all of us that, that our schools are very precious. They're very important to us. They're sort of the place where our opportunity, our potential, is developed. Uh, and sometimes we take that for granted, and sometimes we take the fact that we have a voice for granted. And this, this girl from all the way on the other side of the world raises her voice. She's an ordinary girl. No one knows who she is, but when she raises her voice, the world listens. And now she's this great activist and this great world leader for girls everywhere. Uh, in the 45 seconds we have left or so, tell me, um, where can someone screen this? Where can they find it? Well, it's open nationwide. It's, uh, it's in Baltimore this weekend, this week. Uh, and my dream was is that, you know, sometimes you think, well, parents take their kids. My dream was that girls and boys would take their parents because it, it, they felt like it was their story. Um, and, and, and schools are going, by, uh, there's a way to, to get group sales if you go to our website, he named me Malala.com. And I guarantee you it's a, it's a movie that will inspire you and your family. Hey, thanks so much for being with us. Enjoy your friends and your times in Baltimore, and good luck on your next project. Can't wait to see it. Marty, it's very nice to be on your show. Thank you so much. Hey, one last thing, brother. Go Ravens. Oh, no, go Redskins. You know I, you know I wouldn't let Matt back. Uh, listen, take it easy, man. Thank you. <laughs> Bye-bye.